Hey guys, in this video, we have a bunch of different websites where you can get paid to work from home without a resume and also in many cases without experience. So these are gonna be some of the easier work from home jobs you can get. Some of these may be full-time, a lot of these will also be part-time as well. So one website to check that you may not have seen before is called mykelly.com. Now mykelly is normally known for just customer support jobs. They have some other things as well. They actually have a section where you can click resume not required right here. Now most of these are gonna be remote United States, so you're probably not going to be able to find any outside the US, but these are going to, a lot of times, these are gonna be interpreters. So even though they don't require a resume, a lot of times you do have to have some sort of skill for any job, of course. But for this, you're mostly going to need probably to be multilingual, especially in English and Spanish. So you'll look for these, these like interpreter type jobs and they'll say remote next to them. So make sure they do say remote. Now, some of these, they do say like field technician. You'll probably want to avoid those because that will be something that's like a traveling type of job. And they'll tell you how much they pay on the side. So if you were like a field service technician, it pays 32 an hour. Interpreters pay around $15 an hour. You have also another one that pays around $12 an hour if you go more the call center route. So these are some that you can check out here. And like this one, for instance, was posted just a few hours ago. Normally they only require a high school level of education. And some of these, they may want a little bit of experience, but a lot of times you don't need much, if any. And for some reason they have a little bit of a faded font on this page. I'm not sure why that is, but basically, you know, if I highlight it, you may be able to see it, but it's 15 an hour. You have three weeks of paid training as well. So they will train you to do the job you'll be handling some phone calls on demand in a quiet home office. So this is in fact in a home office. If you could see that right there, you'll help translate. Now some of these will be Spanish, some of these will be Spanish and English. Some of these may just be, you know, one language and some you may have to be multilingual. But for the most part, I would say you need to know Spanish and English. This is normally around 30 hours a week as well. And Mon they do say Monday shifts are required here. So other than that, they do say previous experience is not required right here. So you could get paid around $15 an hour to be an interpreter and they tell you that you do not have to have a resume. They tell you that right here. As far as what it's like to work at Kelly, they have a 3.4 out of five star rating and 60% of people recommend working here to a friend. Another company to check is called Gaggle. Gaggle.net is actually their website. And sometimes you'll find these types of jobs available where you are a content reviewer. So they may have different titles for the job, but normally it's something like a content reviewer. And a lot of times they are hiring for these maybe a few times a year or once a year, something like that. It's one of their main jobs that a lot of times they're looking for but this is a job where you're going to usually be an independent contractor for a temporary non-renewing contract positions monitoring online student activity. The reason, the reason you are monitoring student activity is because you are basically helping to improve lives. You're trying to prevent and uncover any evidence of drug use, bullying, threats of school violence, teen depression, suicidal intentions, and abusive domestic situations of students in grades K through 12. So you are helping make the world a safer place for students. You also get to make your own hours here as well, which is also nice, of course. And you have responsibilities here that include monitor and analyze student activity to identify potentially inappropriate usage, including words, phrases, statements, and images. Quickly and efficiently process content while maintaining a high level of accuracy. Process for a minimum of 10 hours each week. Escalate questionable findings to the safety team and you could be assigned other things as well. Requirements, they do say experience using various computer and web-based applications, which pretty much everybody has. Interest and enthusiasm for reading, that's what a lot of the job is. Ability to delineate between potentially harmful student matters and harmless situations. Experience with tech and social media, knowledge of trends and slang used by kids and teenagers, ability to exhibit tolerance of and respect for others' opinions, strong communication skills, adaptability to change, ability to work independently, 
and they do say experience working as a contractor is preferred but it's not necessarily required access to high-speed internet satellite is not acceptable uh, i don't know if that includes i guess that includes uh, spacex as well even though it's better than a watt of internet these days access to a computer chromebook or a laptop minimum operating system uh, mac el capitan or above windows 7 or above that may change depending on the listing minimum processor required core i3 plus some of this might be a little outdated but as far as other things they don't really they just don't really require experience in other words and you're going to basically be able to make your own hours work as a contractor and because you're a contractor i would not expect any kind of benefits but as far as uh, what it's like to work here they have a four out of five star rating 63 percent actually recommend working here to a friend as far as how much you could actually make with a job like this because they don't really list exactly how much it's going to pay typically a content reviewer makes something around you know 24 dollars per hour next we have transcription which can be done at transcriptionhub.com as just one of many websites that has transcription services for contractors and here basically you can get paid to sign up without a typical resume and without experience you get evaluated so you're going to get evaluated based on your skills at typing essentially so the better you can type and the faster you can type the better you should be able to do on their evaluation of you so basically after you get evaluated you will be given a certain level so you'll be given gold silver or bronze which will give you certain access to different levels of the marketplace and then that gives you certain job availability the better your ranking of course the better jobs you can get flexible work as well transcribers can enjoy the freedom of working from anywhere anytime and then you get paid by based on the amount of work you complete you will get paid by transcription hub based on that so it has to do with how much you get done not necessarily your hourly rate that's how all transcription pretty much works these days it's not going to pay you by the hour it's going to pay you by the finished hour of content is typically how they pay you now they don't have a lot of reviews they do have an indeed page though with four out of five stars from one person who reviewed it so that's about all we have so far from this company typically transcription pays something like 15 to 20 an hour next we have gango gango is a place where you can get paid to sign up without a resume and be a translator so a translator obviously you need to be bilingual or multilingual in some way and you're going to get gigs here where you are translating things from one language to another so this is a Lionbridge company as well which a lot of you may not know what Lionbridge is but Lionbridge is a pretty major um, like a localization and translation company so they are actually like the parent company of Gango flexible schedules are also part of this job as well you'll notice that is a trend with many of these jobs you get to set your own schedule and work where and when you want you get to pick your projects as well you have a supportive community if you need help and you have the latest technology which basically means you can do your work on any device it could be a smartphone a tablet or a computer now as far as the types of languages and how much they pay it's going to vary quite a bit so for instance you can look at all these different languages on here typically from what i've seen the most common languages are the ones that pay the best so if you're doing say like chinese simplified if you're going by like how many people in the world probably speak these languages obviously english is up there then you have you know if you go to a few others you got say french is fairly common you know then if you go down to something that's a little more niche or doesn't have as many speakers it might not have as much so like if you went to say if you went to say like ukrainian or something it's a lot less but as far as more information about this you just sign up and get approved you create a, two, a free account you're going to have to take a two-part test you start translating you get paid and then they have ways for you to actually unlock higher rates as well by passing their pro qualification test so this can allow you to rank a little higher and get more challenging and better paying projects as far as what's like to work at gango they have a 4.2 out of 5 star rating and 74 percent recommend working here to a friend so they have very good ratings salary wise if you go and see what a translator typically makes here on an hourly basis you're looking at you know somewhere around you see 30 dollars an hour you see 27 33 an hour something along those lines typically is what you find here according to reviews another thing you can do is basically tutor people online through a company called preply 
Prepwe is a website where you can get paid to become a tutor of over 100 different subjects. So it's not just limited to a language. It's not just limited to like homework questions. There's all sorts of things you can teach people on here. You also get to set your own rate. So whatever you think your time is worth, if you feel like there are enough people out there that will pay that, you know, and you're not charging an outrageous amount, you can set your rate at that number. So they give you an example, for instance, like most English tutors charge 12 to 25 per hour. So that's just like a, an average, but that's just one subject and that's just a small you know, percentage of the people on here. You also get to teach anytime, anywhere, and you have a steady stream of new students. You have a smart calendar and interactive classroom built for you to help you do everything you need to do. There's no specific certification or teaching experience required here. A lot of companies that do tutoring and things like that or English speaking uh, jobs like these where you're a contractor, a lot of times they require some sort of teaching experience or a resume or some sort of college degree, but this one does not. This also has 100 plus subjects, again, in languages, school and university subjects, hobbies and art. So you have a very simple application process where basically they're going to verify your identity and then once you go to this section where you're trying to figure out how you're gonna get paid, you notice that they have very convenient third-party methods for paying you through PayPal, Payoneer, Skrill, or TransferWise. And as far as the equipment you need, it's very minimal. All you need is a laptop or desktop, stable internet, webcam, microphone, and that's about it. Many people already have those things. They only take around 18 to 33% of a commission of what you earn, so you, so you keep obviously the vast majority of your earnings. It's always good to know the platform fee for stuff like that. But as far as what's like to work here, 4.4 out of five stars, 89% recommend working here to a friend. If you're curious how much other tutors are averaging right now, if you wanna look at their reviews, they do have an hourly pay review and you can see like 27 people on here averaging 31 for the top result. And then you'll see some others where it's a very specific subject, for instance. Now, if you go to English, English is one of the most common ones. You see something very close to the average here. You also see math on here for 32, uh, Spanish for 32, art for 30. So you see a few different ones on here, but typically they're somewhere around the low 30s, maybe the high 20s. Next, we have a company called Poplin, which used to be called Sudshare, and this is a place where you can get paid to do laundry. It's kind of a gig economy type of job. And basically you just go to become a laundry pro, and they say top workers can earn up to 6,000 a month. Now this is like their top tier. I think it's like their top 10 or something along those lines that make that much. Everybody else, it's going to vary quite a bit. We'll get to some of the averages here in a second, but you sign up and learn. They actually have all these videos you watch that teach you how to do everything as efficiently as possible. You accept jobs in your area. You pick up, wander, return, and repeat. So the only thing about this is it's not 100% at home. It's majority work from home, but you may have to deliver or pick up laundry at times. So as far as the average earnings by the top 10, 5,800 a month. Average earnings by top 100, 2,500 a month. The only thing is we don't know how many hours these people are working. So we're gonna get to uh, some Glassdoor reviews here in a second. But basically it's in, a, it's in about 500 cities across the United States. The sign up process is pretty simple. All you need to do is be 18 years of age or older, eligible to work in the US and have a, a method of transportation, pass a background check, etc. So you are your own boss, you're a contractor, so you're gonna to have to do your own taxes and things like that as you do with many of these jobs. And basically you will need a smartphone, a method of transportation and things like laundry detergent, clear bags, labels, and a simple bathroom scale, as well as obviously access to a washer and dryer. Now they also have a, a per order average of $40 and there's a minimum so you'll always earn at least 15 plus tips per order. As far as reviews at Poplin, they have a 4.5 out of five star rating and 91% of people recommend working here to a friend. As far as the average on an hourly basis, is how, as far as how much you can earn here, if you look at the hourly pay, typically you're looking somewhere around 33 an hour, maybe a little bit more. Some independent contractors say $39 an hour. So pretty solid pay if you look at the benefit, at the uh, averages here, and then some of them are kind of in the 20s or something like that. Another place to check is TaskRabbit. TaskRabbit is a place where normally you would not work at home, but here you can actually work at home for certain jobs because 
they are actually known for like being a uh, a place where you would hire like a handyman or somebody to clean your house or somebody to help you with lawn care or something like that. But they if you go to their job categories, they now have some like computer help for $24 an hour. You see data entry for $22 an hour. You also see something like graphic design, which pays $33 an hour. These are types of jobs that can be done from home. And then you can just message your client through the app and get paid through there. So if you check out the app, you'll notice that it's a pretty highly rated app with four out of five stars and a million plus downloads. So you're looking at something that is pretty popular. It'll be very similar to something like, you know, maybe like Uber or DoorDash or something like that, except you're going to actually, you know, message each other back and forth. You're gonna look at profiles and see kind of what services people offer. But you can check out TaskRabbit and just look for the actual services that are based on something a, that you can do on a computer. And then TaskRabbit also has a 3.6 out of five star rating and 68% recommend working here to a friend. And like I said, if you do some of those jobs, you're looking at like the mid 20s to low 30s in terms of like uh, graphic design or computer help or data entry or something like that. Next, you have ClickWorker. ClickWorker is a micro tasking website which allows you to get paid to do a lot of different types of tasks that will vary quite a bit in how much they pay. They will also vary in terms of how long they take to complete. So these are mostly one off tasks. So if you go on a micro tasking website like ClickWorker, Quick Worker, there's gonna be like a bunch of listings once you create your profile. And again, you can sign up without a resume. And then you just complete these different jobs and these are going to only usually take a little bit of time. It usually shouldn't take very long, but these are not hourly paying jobs. These are not jobs where you're a part-time worker or an independent contractor with a certain contract for a certain length of time. It's literally just, you go on here, you do a task, you get paid. You go on there, you do another task, you get paid. That's all you really do. And many of these jobs will only pay you a few dollars each, but they can also be done very quickly without experience. And they have a very good trust pilot score, as you see, 4.4 out of five stars. You have a variety of jobs to choose from. You can also just focus on the ones you like doing. Um, PayPal and Payoneer are the main ways they pay you, and you also have weekly payments. And then as far as some of the types of jobs that you can find here, you also see that it's available on just about any device. If you wanna look at the app here, four out of five stars, a million plus downloads. And you see some of the job examples, surveys, text creation, research, mystery shopping, app testing, photo capturing, all sorts of diff just different random jobs. And you see some of the statistics here, a million plus micro tasks, 50,000 plus hit apps, and then uh, 230,000 plus solve support tickets so that you know they're gonna help you if you have questions. As far as what's like to work here, um, the reviews here are pretty solid, 3.4 out of five stars, 71% recommend working here to a friend. And then salary wise, if you're looking at Click Worker here, you're gonna have to just jump around and see what people post. Uh, now you see a couple of contractors say 58 an hour. I don't know how sustainable that would be, but um, it shows you there is potential. That you see one Click Worker saying 25 an hour, Site worker 23, freelancer 42, so that's kind of in between those. So you see a little bit of, you know, all sorts of different types of price points here. So, you know, you're not gonna go in here expecting to make $58 an hour. Could you, maybe for a few tasks, could you average $58 an hour? Possibly, according to these two people, you can. But some of these others are probably a little more realistic when you're looking at something like 25 or or something along those lines. It just depends on the type of task you're doing. Next, you have writing jobs at Quick, at Text Broker. Text Broker is actually a place where you can get paid to be a contractor writing articles for other companies. So if you're interested in writing, you feel like you have a good voice in your writing and you are good at doing research and turning that into articles, you can check out Text Broker and basically get started without a typical resume. Uh, as far as when you go to write content, when you go to the payment section here, you'll see that they have three main ways that you get paid. You have open order, you have direct order, and you have team order. So open order is basically they have thousands of orders and you get paid to write based on your quality level and they pay up to 5.5 cents a word if you are in the top tier of quality. Direct order basically is when people come directly to you. You can actually set your own rate because these people are coming directly to you. 
And then team order is basically you can sign up for different teams and the rate is set for differently for each team based on the, what the client wants. So if you were to basically uh, check out like their estimate here, their calculator, if you were to write really good quality and you wrote a 1,000 word article for what would be called an open order project, that would pay you around $55, so which is not too bad for 1,000 words. Uh, 2,000 words be $110 and you can go on and on. So this is one of those places where you might take a test and kind of see where you're at, you know, as far as skill wise, but you don't necessarily get hired like a typical job with a resume and an interview. Now, as far as what it's like to work at Text Broker, they have a 3.8 out of 5 star rating, 78% recommend working here to a friend. If you want to see what people claim that they earned on an hourly basis on average, hourly rates are going to be varying a little bit, but usually they're somewhere between like 20 and 35 an hour. Content writer, 22, 20, 27 in total pay for freelance writer, 28 in total pay for this one. Copywriter, 28. Freelancer, 33. So you're looking somewhere and again, like maybe the mid to high 20s to uh, maybe the low 30s. Next we have user testing. User testing is best done as a part-time just side hustle. User testing allows you to get paid to basically just uh, test websites and apps and give your thoughts on them. You're going to basically outline your experience of what you like and you don't like about the layout and the user friendliness of a website or an app. You apply, again, no resume or anything required no experience, you take some screening questions. So some of the tests you're gonna get are gonna be based on your demographic, which has to do with some of the screening questions. Uh, they will basically have you do different tests and then you get paid. So they they pay you via PayPal and you do not have to pay to sign up or anything like that. Now usually they pay you within two weeks after you get things done. As far as the operating systems and the requirements for the, app, for the uh, phone or PC that you're using they're not too crazy there you may have to have a microphone which obviously is built into a lot of devices these days you're gonna be paid via PayPal you're gonna to have to do your own taxes if you meet the threshold in your country typically they do allow people to do this worldwide as well so it'll probably be just about anywhere where PayPal is accepted and then as far as how much they actually pay you it's typically it's anywhere from like four dollars to like hundred and twenty dollars per test depending on the type of test that you do and they don't really tell you that on this page anymore, but that's what they used to tell you. Now you have to like sign in and then see how much the tests pay you after you get done with your screening questions and what's just depends on what's available. But review wise, they have a 3.4 out of five star rating, 53% recommend working here to a friend. Now you can also look at salaries on here and see what other people claim they've earned as a, as a tester. So, if you're looking at a tester here, it looks like 31 an hour is what people are claiming. Uh, many tests are also pretty fast. A lot of them can be done in around 20 minutes or so as well. So most people who say they were a tester say an average of $31 an hour, and that's based on 21 people submitting reviews. Next, we have a company called Study Pool, which allows you to, it can actually it allows you to make money a few different ways. One thing you can do is sell documents where you can make passive income by uploading your college class documents. And then you also have a tutoring section where you can get paid to help people with their homework. This can pay you around 7,500 a month if you're like in the top tier of tutors. Obviously most people won't reach that, but it gives you an idea of how much is possible. You also have the worldwide option as well. If you're pretty much anywhere where PayPal is accepted, you should be able to do this. Starting at 20% fees is not bad. You basically get to keep 80% of what people pay you for the answer. Obviously, any platform like this is gonna have to take a cut to basically keep the lights on. Reliable income and full freedom and flexibility to work when and where you want. Students will ask specific questions that pay varying amounts of money. Tutors will answer via text, which is also nice and convenient. Students and tutors communicate over a chat messenger, and a tutoring session is one time per question base. So basically each tutoring session is based on when the answer is done for the question. When you submit an answer that they accept, the tutoring session is done. It's not based on a certain amount of time like typical tutoring works. You see top earners are earning as much as almost $100,000 in a year, but a little bit less. 
you see questions varying quite a bit in terms of how much they pay per question and then you also see top tutoring countries are all over the world as far as top tutoring subjects you see these vary quite a bit but I would say most of these are going to be I would say probably high school to college level although it could be even more than that as well now as far as how much you can earn here or in how how the reviews are four out of five stars 83 percent recommend working here to a friend and they have a good sample size of 300 plus so they have pretty good reviews here and then you also have some salaries that have been submitted as far as how much people say they made as tutors um, you see 21 you see 18 23 an hour 30 is for a writer that's a little bit different 25 an hour so you're looking at something like that like maybe 25 maybe the lower 20s somewhere in there it just depends on the subject but there is potential obviously some people earn more than that but you don't know how many hours they're actually working is the only thing next we have gamersensei.com if you are really good at certain video games especially the ones that are competitive online and maybe even part of esports gamer sensei allows you to get paid to coach people to get better at those games and we'll go over a list of what those games are in a minute but gamer sensei basically you'll see some of the top coaches here what games that they do and things like that and then you have uh, easy booking and everything you can just set up these sessions at certain times of the week if you go to how it works basically you'll see that they have two main types of sessions you have one-on-one -on -one sessions and then you have squad sessions so if you are just trying to get better by yourself and you're doing one-on-one -on -one, you can get paid to basically coach people one-on-one -on -one to get better at that game you can also pay to help a squad get better so if you're thinking of like esports or you're thinking of just maybe it's just a group of friends that like playing together you can book a session for that as well now as far as how you get paid you would just go to the bottom here where it says become a sensei under company and this is where you would sign up to be a coach so it's, it's hassle-free easy scheduling you also get an exclusive discount on Corsair family gear which is very big if you've ever played video games and you've had to get a headset or something like that you've probably seen Corsair on places like Best Buy and Amazon before so you get a discount on that and then you also have many different countries that you can do this from worldwide you also have many different games that are that are on here as far as what you can coach you have uh, as you can see mostly online multiplayer very competitive type games that also have esports involved as well those are typically the types of games that you'll see on here now they do want you to describe your prior coaching experience and link to a VOD reviewer coaching session so you might want to maybe record some sort of video of you coaching somebody else in a game to give an idea of what your coaching style looks like and if you actually know what you're talking about another thing about them is you actually get to set your own pay rate so as far as um, how much you earn it could vary but 4.5 out of 5 stars 87 percent recommend working here to a friend it's not the biggest sample size but it's pretty good as far as salaries go a gaming coach you have a few different coaches who have left reviews here one guy or girl said 32 an hour one coach said 41 an hour and that's pretty much all we have so far but pretty good pay for both of those really for something that would be really fun for a lot of people now last but not least is a company called shiftsmart.com this can be done on their website they also have an app that a lot of times they want you to download just to manage everything um, but you submit your job gig application complete the onboarding process choose your shifts build your schedule and get paid in days not weeks they're supposed to pay extremely fast some people claim as soon as daily and then it just depends on the job you're going to do as far as how much you're going to get paid now they have in person they have online jobs as well so in person you have things like retail auditor and store associate available right now as far as things you should be able to do at home I believe you can do the tech product tester at home which is I believe they just send you the product and then you earn like fifty dollars as a tech product tester every time you do this and you get to work when you want and like I said I'm pretty sure you just get to keep the product whatever it may be you can get paid very quickly and all they really require is that you're 18 years of age or older eligible to work in the US you have an iPhone or Android device and must be able to visit assigned testing location okay so this one you do have to you do have an assigned testing location now you also have something like a survey caller which does not require you to be at a certain location you can work from home it pays ten dollars an hour again their gigs are going to vary quite a bit in terms of pay but you know some of them only pay like ten dollars an hour you do have fast pay choose your own schedule 
and then this one for instance they would want you to make yeah they tell you right here they want you to have a strong internet connection which means you will be working from home you do need to be located in the u.s and be 18 years of age or older as far as um, other requirements they don't really have anything for a certain degree or experience or anything like that so this is just another site where you can find different things available you'll basically just download the app and then check and see what you can find and as far as what it's like to work here they have a 3.1 out of 5 star rating and 58 percent recommend working here to a friend as far as the average pay of what other people have said it's going to vary a lot like i said now i've shown you something where you can earn ten dollars an hour so you know that's kind of at least um somewhere around the minimum of what you might make you see some other ones that pay around 15 to 20 dollars an hour on here now you do see a bunch of independent contractors there's 12 of them that said they average 50. i don't know what they were doing now that could have been for something like a product tester where you get paid 50 dollars for that hour but you're not getting continuous hours so that's the one thing you have to look at with the pay with some of these sometimes they'll pay you a lot of money for one hour but they won't have consistent hours so that's kind of the trade-off with some of those that's probably what they did is something like that like a product tester or something but it shows you that you could make somewhere between 10 and 50 dollars per hour it just really depends on what you're doing i would say most of their jobs are probably closer to the 10 to 15 though so hopefully this was helpful don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home opportunities like these if you thought this was a helpful video please click the like button it shows me what types of content you really want the most and don't forget to leave a comment if you want to ask me a question or suggest something that I cover in the future, and I'll see you in the next video.